live with Nicholas. I don't even want to look at him right now. And his insane grandmother is out there. My kids would be miserable. In a castle? Are you sure about that? It's just not a healthy situation, that's all. Well, I'm with you there. But you seem to be working overtime to make this whole thing Nicholas's fault. Well, if it weren't for Nicholas, I'd still be with Lucky. But you're not. And from what you've told me, Lucky is not coming back. Maybe it's time to move on, Elizabeth. Take the opportunity. Try something new. Don't waste time punishing yourself for sleeping with Nicholas. Be grateful that you're having a healthy baby. Now, Elizabeth is too fragile emotionally and physically. But she works long hours. She barely sees the two children she already has. And she has certainly not shown any regard for my great-grandchild. And I believe you are the reason. I never said I wouldn't allow Elizabeth to move into Windermere. In fact, I said just the opposite. I never dreamed that you would take out your hatred of Nicholas on his unborn child. Are you even listening to me? I'm not taking anything out on anyone, okay? I, I don't get to decide where Elizabeth lives. My responsibilities are to Cameron and Jake, and that's it. No wonder Nicholas blames you for Elizabeth's irresponsible behavior. You can't stand the fact that that baby is not yours, and if she has a miscarriage, young man, it's your fault. So Elizabeth was on time for her sonogram? <clears throat> good, good. Can you email me some pictures? Okay, great, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee, goodbye. Had a visit from Helena today. She seems to think I'm the one stopping Elizabeth from moving out here. Aren't you? In that, uh, that passive-aggressive sort of way you're so good at? What the hell happened to you, Nicholas? I mean, we... We had our differences at first, but you were never deliberately cruel. I don't, I don't think it's cruel to want my child's mother to live with me. Now, you know exactly what this would do to me, to have my sons living here. And why would Elizabeth want to live here anyway, huh? What? I mean, this place is nothing but bad memories. Emily died out here, you know? Our, our friendship fell apart out here. And besides that, it's inconvenient for work. She's pregnant. She doesn't need I to be going that. back and she forth She doesn't to have launch. to work. She doesn't have to push herself to the point of exhaustion and jeopardize my child. But that's exactly what she's doing. Because she's convinced herself that if she can drive me away, you'll go back to her. Something happened to you after Emily died. Oh, I don't know what it is. Lucky, it's like come on. Don't lost who you really are don't, or something. Don't bring Emily into this. Elizabeth and I had a fair. We did what millions of people do every day. We slept with someone we weren't supposed to and lied about it. It happened. Just like your affair with Maxie. <laughs> it happened. But you know what? I am really tired of apologizing for it. All right, because Cassidines don't apologize. Isn't that right? I mean, I mean being a prince literally means Lucky. never having to say Lucky, you're sorry. I, I've been apologizing to you for years. Begging you for your acceptance. My God, I named, I named my firstborn child after you. Forget, forget it. The hell with you. I'm not, I'm not apologizing hey, don't, for who don't, I don't am anymore. Don't turn this into some Spencer Cassidine feud, the, okay? The, the bottom line is, I have a child on the way, okay? And I will provide for it. You can be as mad at me as you want, but stay the hell out of my way or deal with the consequences. I, I, am, I am such an idiot. I really am. It's taken me until this moment, right now, to realize that no Spencer will ever truly accept me, not even my own mother. Don't bring mom into this. I, I twisted myself into knots for you, for years. Yeah, and you let us believe all along that you were nothing like your grandmother or, or your father or any of them. Again, I'm not, I'm not apologizing for my birthright. I'm not. I, I actually let myself believe that it was better to be accepted by a Spencer than be true to myself. But I'm not taking second place anymore. I'm not, I'm not deferring to you or anyone else in your family. Those days are over. Well, at least we're finally getting down to the truth of it. <laughs> you know, some part of you has hated me all along. I forget to be... Wait. Do you, you know what's, do you know what's sickening about this whole thing? I really did love you. I did. I, I did everything humanly possible to be a worthy brother to you. And you were for a long time. 
and then you suddenly decided that your grief and confusion were so unique and profound that, that, that it justified you stabbing me in the back. No, no, hold, hold on, don't kid yourself, Lucky. You, you and Elizabeth were in trouble long before I came along. She had real questions about marrying. Yeah, and you never told me that. Because you didn't want to know. You manipulated her by playing on her guilt and loyalty. You refused to see what was staring you right in your damn I, face, I Lucky. I refused to see that you were screwing her behind my I'm back, so Nicholas. That's what I refused really, to see. Really? I had people dropping hints left and right. I had signs all over the place. And I refused to see what was staring me right in the face because I loved you, because you were my brother. I refuse to see that you're a treacherous, lying bastard without a moral bone in your body. But it's not surprising, is it? I mean, your father kidnapped our mother, oh, well, held her there. captive, no, forced her to carry well, his own before, child. Don't talk about fathers who commit rape. That's one fight you can't win. You know what, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna travel the same sorry road that my dad went down with your family. I mean, it costs everyone years of their lives and a whole lot of pain. I never thought that would happen with us.